Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Utsi. In our top story, the city of Columbia recently kicked off a new summertime initiative called Food Truck Fridays. Trucks are coming out all the time, left and right. You see more different versions, different ideas. It's going to continue to grow over the next five to ten years. You're going to get good food, you're going to get great food. Uh, customer services is top notch. Uh, this is people's labor of love inside of what they do and what they enjoy. Again, Food Truck Fridays is every Friday during the month of June and hopefully throughout the summer months. Continue to check our website at columbiasc.gov for more details. And now, another story for our local Columbia foodies. We Are Open continues to show that small businesses are hot and popping here in the city of Columbia with the recent opening and grand opening in celebration for nothing but wings. It's another great day as we say we're open for business and here we are celebrating another great small business in our community but this one is especially special. Here we are in the gateway of our community. As you know this area is the gateway to downtown Columbia and, and having nothing but wings here which is interesting because they got some other really great food here folks uh, on their menu so don't let it fool you but this is an incredible opportunity for us to celebrate small businesses which are the backbone of our community. And now for those who are eating some of those wings, you might want to get some moves on and shake some of that weight off. Turning Point recently has moved to a new location in Five Points, showing that not only are we open, but we're also resilient and transitional. And then when we found this property, I knew it was just the spot for us. It's wonderful having the support from Five Points. The city support has been amazing. I've had so many city officials come out to, to greet and meet, and it's just been wonderful and we're very excited to be here. Recently, St. Patrick's Day and their committee, along with Five Points Association members, gathered to actually announce the recipients of grant funds and checks from the successful St. Patrick's Festival. We are so excited that we were able to bring back St. Pat's and Five Points for its 40th annual festival uh, on March 19th, after a two-year hiatus. Uh, the festival was a huge success, and. Thanks to the hard work of so many people, we were able to bring one of Columbia's iconic events back to Five Points. Uh, we were able to return all of our traditional events, the Get to the Green Run, St. Pat's Parade, Pot of Gold Playland, of course, four stages of live music featuring local, regional, and national artists. And now for a highlight regarding one of our city council members. Councilwoman Audrey Bustles recently received an award as a young professional here in our community. As someone who's always made it my mission to lift up other women and ensure that we make it easier for the people that come after us, I think that this award speaks to the amazing work that women are doing, but also the work that we need to continue to do in order to advance the voices and perspectives of women, especially women of color in our state. And from highlights regarding one of our city council members to highlights for two of our City of Columbia departments bestowed by City Council. During a recent city council meeting, two departments were celebrated and highlighted. Columbia Police Department for National Police Week and also our Public Works Department as they celebrated National Public Works Week. Battle of the Badges is an annual blood drive sponsored by the American Red Cross and it involves competition but only friendly competition among the Columbia Police Department, the Columbia Richland Fire Department and the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Chief William Skip Holbrook with the police department tells us more. Beginning of the summer, um, you know, off, unfortunately we see a lot of traffic collisions or accidents of requiring blood and uh, this is our way of, of giving back and having fun with some competition. This is certainly a, a, a good target audience. Um, uh, our first responders, we know firsthand how important giving blood is and how it can save a life. Recently, an inaugural program was launched involving the Columbia Police Department Foundation, the Parts and Recreation Foundation, and Academy Sports. This new program donated bikes to children in our community who displayed exemplary behavior and excellent academics during the school year. This is a great event today because I think that it helps us address a lot of community needs. Um, first of all, I tell folks, you, don't, you haven't had a childhood unless you've had a bike and had a few scrapes and bruises. 
Um, and then as a parent, I remember riding with my daughter, so I know that that's important too, to get that exercise. Um, I like the fact that we also had our police officers here because I really want young folks in the community to know that they can be police officers and seeing that example and being able to spend time with officers in a friendly environment. And speaking of bikes, bikes and more bikes, recently it was Bike to Work Day and some of our own Colombians made sure that they celebrated in a very special way. Hey, it's an annual celebration that um, is nationwide, uh, the League of American Bicyclists organized. And here in Columbia, we um, try to have rides that come from different parts of the city. And then we meet at the State House at 8.30 for a ride down Main Street to City Hall. Um, and then just kind of uh, part our separate ways. I know it's a hotter day today and um, certainly feels like it, but we're excited it's Bike to Work Day. And from biking fun to fun for our seniors, Recently, Senior Jamboree was held and sponsored by the Parks and Recreation Department. It was a great fun time for those in our community who are seniors, but also still very active. And I just felt so excited because the seniors have been locked down for so long that it's time that things start opening up for the seniors again. We're so vulnerable about things happening that it is nice to be able to come surrounding with seniors to enjoy each other's company again. Thank you for joining us for this episode of City View, where we give you an inside view of the city of Columbia. Please stay tuned and make sure you connect with us through our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course, our YouTube channel for on-demand video programming. Of course, stay connected through our TV stations and platforms such as City TV on Spectrum, Channel 1301, and through Amazon, Fire TV, and Roku. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And remember, we are Columbia.